Let's take a moment to look at this question. A moving truck is accelerating on the level highway towards the right direction. You have a little ball inside the truck suspended with a massless string on the ceiling. And the ball is making an angle theta with the vertical. This angle is a stable, which means the ball is not jumping up and down. You are asked to find the magnitude of the acceleration. Okay, here's the diagram. You can see the bulb here and makes angle theta with the vertical direction, and the whole truck and the ball together is accelerating toward the right direction. To solve this problem, first let's set up a coordinate system and do a free body diagram. Since the acceleration is in the horizontal direction, so uh, the coordinate system, we can align the x, positive x, to the right, and the y for the vertical direction. On this little ball, you have a tension force from the string, and you have a gravitational force. So total, there are two real physical forces on this ball. The next step is to separate the forces from the tension according to the uh, coordinate system. So the tension will have two components, one in the x direction and one in the y direction. Okay, since the ball is not accelerating up or down, so in the y direction you have the tension force component in the positive direction, so it's t cosine theta, and this component is literally here, so the theta is right here, and uh, doing a simple trigonometry, you see this is adjacent side, so you have this t multiplied cosine theta being the vertical. And your positive y direction is up, so you have t cosine theta minus mg equals zero, sigma fy equals zero, which means that this ball is not accelerating up and down and it's stably there. The condition says this making a constant angle theta 30 degrees. So this theta is 30 degree. All right, so you have t cosine theta minus mg equals zero. And a little bit algebra, you get t cosine theta equal to mg. Then you divide this cosine theta over and you get t equal to mg divided by cosine theta. Here you can write t in terms of mg and theta. Next step, then you find the sigma f in the x direction, the net force in the x direction. So there's only one component force from the tension in the x direction, which is t sine theta. And that's the net force. The net force equal to the mass multiplying the acceleration in the x direction. So a little bit algebra, you divide the m over, you get t sine theta divided by m equal to the acceleration. Remember here, we have the t from the vertical direction uh, equal to mg divided by cosine theta. So you can have, you can replace this t, substitute the t with mg divided by cosine theta. So you get mg divided by cosine theta, and the original term of sine theta and m remains. Here you get both m um, can be canceled, and uh, you are left with g multiply sine theta divided by cosine theta, which is tangent theta. So you get g tangent theta. Then plug in the numbers. Let's take g uh, to be 10 meters per second square, and the theta to be 30 degrees. You put in there, and you get a 10 multiply tangent 30 degrees equal to 5.77 meters per second. Then you find acceleration in the x direction.